probably all familiar with me. I recently <coughs> filed a lawsuit in regard to my son and what occurred to him in San Diego County. Well, since then, the suit has been done and the verdict was in favor of San Diego County. It doesn't mean it's over, that's just a bump in the road, that's step one. San Benito County has been knowingly abusing mentally ill people for seven, seven years that I can prove. Now during that time, not only have they been abusing them, they tried to make mental illness a criminal act. This is something that I'm fairly certain you're all aware of because you're all on tape talking about it. You've also had it brought to your attention through your grand jury. And at that point, as I recall, the, the funds for the grand jury started to disappear. Well, the grand jury is going to need more funds because I'm filing every single piece that occurred from the beginning of the incident through the district attorney's office, through the sheriff's office, and it's going to your grand jury, it's going to the attorney general, it's going to the disability California people, and it's also going to the FBI because while I couldn't say certain things in federal court because I was not allowed to, each and every aspect of it is allowed with each and every one of those agencies. So my feedback to you would be to do what Monterey County has done, to take note of what happened. Since this has occurred, I've had 23 people come forward to me and I will be advocating for them. I will also be filing grand jury reports to each and every one of them. So your grand jury is going to be extremely busy. Now, each and every one of them has the same sort of story to tell about abuse, about going to a hospital that's not even a designated hospital for people who have mental illness, about lack of mental care, about being placed into a jail where there it was no mental illness being afforded to them. And I've had all of it. I've dealt with your sheriff's department and heard them actually state that they have the same policies in jail that they do in the hospital. So either your sheriff's department is completely ignorant of their own policy and procedure manual, or they're just out and out liars. So that's up to you guys to find the difference. My feedback to you is how can you have allowed this to go on all these years knowing it and discussing it and just letting it go. Because I've heard it said it only affects a few people. Well, guess what? I'm one of those people, and I'm certainly not going to go away. This is going to be dragged to the forefront, and it is going to be fixed. Thank you.